Venezuela, a country painted as a failed state by U.S. politicians and corporate media, one that is under a total dictatorship, brutally repressing free speech and the right to protest. With new U.S. sanctions, direct threats from the Trump administration overthrow another sovereign government, and corporate media painting a one-sided narrative, I wanted to go see the reality on the ground for myself. We are very near Plaza Altamirro right now, where the opposition looks like it's setting up a barricade. This is a tactic that the opposition does to deter traffic, to cause a lot of problems here in Caracas. Uh, we're going to go follow them right now and see what's going on. As the sun started to set, things began to change. Smaller groups donning masks and shields started forming up. Stopping cars leaving the highway, they trapped drivers on the offering. How, how hard is it to live under a dictatorship? It's bastante difficult because no, este, tu como emprendedora no emprende no para ti, sino para el gobierno. Entiendes? No puedes ser independiente. Ves? Todo tu trabajo y tu esfuerzo es para el gobierno. Then the protest moved on to the highway itself, shutting down all lanes in both directions. Most surprising is how they did this, taking over two large trucks. Below was Miranda Air Force Base. They started hurling rocks and chunks of concrete at the base below. And that's when soldiers guarding the base responded. What I had experienced was a typical Guarimba. A few hundred or less semi-armed protesters ruling the streets, shutting down as much as they can, using largely violent tactics. They push as far as they can go until security forces respond, then flee with new photos of repression. Given what the media has been saying, I was shocked to learn that there were no arrests that night. It seems like there certainly is a right to protest in Venezuela. 